Okay, so let's continue with a couple of discussions. Consider these two cases. Exact same rigid body. Okay, let's say, again, like a vault door or a steering wheel. Okay? Now you apply a couple okay, at this top and bottom position for the first case. The second case, you apply at a slightly different position, okay, further toward the center. Let's call it F1, okay, for the top case. For the bottom case, F2, okay. Now, <clears throat> for the top case, you can calculate the moment, okay, the scalar of the moment M1 equals the magnitude of F1 times D1, the distance, the perpendicular distance between these two forces, okay. Or, the vector representation would be R cross F, okay, R measured from here to here, cross with F vector. Same thing for the second case. Now, we say that these two cases are equivalent. Okay? They have the same moment, okay? that is M1 equals M2. Okay? So, if that's the case, then these two couples are considered equivalent. All right? So, which means that applying this F1 force at these two locations, has the same effect as applying a different force at a closer position. Okay, so let's throw some numbers. Um, the same example in the, in the textbook, um, page 149. Let's say in the top case F1 is let's say 30 newton. Okay, the magnitude right, is going to the right, so it would be let's say the i position. Okay, so F1 is negative i, 30 newton. D1, um, let's say D1 is 40 or 0.4 meters. Okay, so M1 therefore equals okay, so 30 times 0.4 equals <coughs> 12 newton meters. Okay, so this is the applied sort of applied torque. Okay, generated by that by uh, this couple right here, 12 newton meters. Second case, F2, let's say it's 40 newton now, same thing here. But D2, okay, it's a little closer to each other, so D2 is 0.3 meters. So, M2 equals 40 newton times 0.3, also 12 newton meters. Okay, so these two cases, create the same moment, okay? So we say that these two couples are equivalent. Okay, let's look at an example, a quick example, yeah, from the textbook, uh, example 4.10. Now this example, you have a lot of forces here, okay? Six total, okay? But if you look at it closer, this force, okay? And this force are the same force, okay, magnitude wise. Right? 200 pounds, it's those 200 pounds. And this point straight up, this point straight down. And they're separated by a distance, four feet, okay, in particular. So this force and this force become a couple, okay, a couple system. This force right here and this force also are a couple. Okay. And this and that are the third couple. So in this picture right here, we can identify three couples. Right? So the three couples that exist in this force system. Okay. So <clears throat> what is the net effect man of all these couples together? The moment created. Right? So I want to find the total moment that all these six forces have on this rigid body, this, this little plate right here. Okay, so what is the total final tendency for this plate to want to rotate okay, because of all these six forces? Now, by the way, if you do a sum of forces, once again, sum of forces for this <coughs> system right here, all these six forces, sum of forces in the end will be zero. Okay, because this force 
cancels out this force. Right, F3, this one cancels out this one, and this one cancels out this one. Okay, so total sum of forces has been zero. Okay, so linearly, right, <clears throat> there's no net effect to want to make this plate shift. Okay, but in the rotation aspect, okay, that is moment, it will have a tendency to want to rotate, right, which is exactly this guy right here. So total moment, you just sum all the moment together. Okay. Since you've identified that there are three couples, okay, so you don't have to sum a moment about any point. Okay, this point right here is irrelevant. Can be about any point. Right. So from the previous discussion, the definition of moment exactly goes to the force times the distance that separates the couple. Right. The two forces. So um, since there are three couples, let's go to M1 plus M2 plus M3. How about that? Okay. So, <clears throat> and I'm just going to do the magnitude. Okay. Now, since I'm going to do magnitude, um, you have to define which is the positive or negative direction. Right. So, since I don't know the final moment, whether it's clockwise or counterclockwise, okay, that is if the direction, the vector of the final moment okay, would be pointing outward or inward into the board, you need to make assumption. Okay? So you can just assume that it's positive kind of uh, going clockwise. Okay? So that's my positive direction. Right? So you can assume anything you like. Okay? You, can, uh, you can make it counterclockwise if you want. Right? So I'm going to assume that positive means going clockwise. So, <clears throat> let's proceed with your calculation. M1 is the couple, right? It's the moment due to the couple, F1. So, that's F1 times D1 plus M2 due to F2 and D2 plus F3, D3, right? And just plug and chug at this point. So, 200 pounds times D1 is the distance between these two forces, which is exactly 4 feet. Okay, now 200 is in pound, this D, 4 is in feet, so the unit is consistent, okay, so it's standard English unit, so, so we're okay, right, so no more conversion needed. And then F2 is 450 pound, and D2 is 3 feet, okay, plus F3, okay, plus F3 is 300 pound, times 5 feet between that. Okay? <coughs> now, <coughs> as far as the sign is concerned, you need to then look at the sign of each one, whether it's positive or negative. This guy right here, 200 times 4. Okay, so this, the first couple system, <coughs> we tend to create a positive moment. Right? Okay? It goes out this way. So, Alright, to focus on these two, so it's a positive moment. So, clockwise moment is positive. So, this is positive right here. F2 is these two right here. So, these two together would tend to create a counterclockwise, which is negative now. So, you need to add a negative sign in front. Okay, F3 is going this way, so it tends to create a clockwise, which is positive. So, positive, so that's fine. Okay, so crunch numbers. <coughs> Here it is, just punching calculators. In the end, it is um, 950 pound feet. Okay, so it's a positive number. Positive means clockwise. Okay, so, so the final total moment created by these six forces or created by these three couples is 950 pound feet clockwise. So the tendency to want to make this plate move clockwise, okay, is 
this much.